Hi everyone, Albert here, and welcome to this Let's Play. Well, I've got this character over here, and I need to get him to level 18. So I figured I'll try to do this quest over here. Search and Rescue this is one of those quests that was added before one of the expansions. The goal of this quest was basically show off some like new monsters and stuff. So yeah, that's what this quest is all about. So when this came out, there was like tons of new things that were showed up for the first time only in this quest. Okay, well, I haven't played this character in some time, so I hope I, uh... You found the crevasse marked on the map. Now you need to descend down into the tomb and rescue the missing adventurers. Yeah, this thing had harpies in it, the uh, Umber Hulks, a whole bunch of other things were like... I think, I don't think the harpies were brand new, but the Umber Hulks were brand new. Also, this quest is free to play, and one of the things it has in it, it's got a really cool end boss. Do I have a bow? I think I have a bow. Leave them. Come down. Fight me when they've got time. Also, in typical fashion, kind of like, you know, uh, proof is in the poison. This quest was like, the scaling of this quest was a little bit unfair. It was meant for like a full party at all times. Not really for solo play. That doesn't mean it can't be soloed. I think somebody did it like an R10 solo, but whatever. It definitely wasn't set up like that in the first place. Let's see how it goes. There is a optional over here who's basically the size of another entire quest. And from that optional, I need to get an armor. Basically because of the cosmetic. I don't know if I'll do it or not, but we'll see. I think I'll just go for the end first and then uh, see how it goes from there. The quelling effect is super impressive. Turns everything like pitch black, can't see anything. I guess having a better weapon would be the way to go, but I couldn't be bought out of there, so it is what it is. This place we're looking for uh, an orb both sides it's supposed to activate. Okay, that was one of them. Get the quill stuck, maybe save myself some of the hassle. 
the druid died it was nice even my other hireling will be bothered to uh, try to res them could be the close down actually because it is divine healing yeah. Help the rest of the enemies in this quest not so high in fortification. This build excels at doing critical hits. If you don't believe me, my crit profile is 1920 times 6. Once it gets to level 18, that'll be uh, 18, 19, 20, 6. Where's the control hold? As the Got last it. control hold is activated, you hear the sound of stone grinding against stone, echo from the main chamber of the tomb. Yeah, also I should probably get more uh, fortification crit. This character, I mean uh, fortification bypass. So what's the point of having a crazy crit profile if uh, everything? Avoids your crit hits. of the quest will go much faster of course i could like zerg through everything but you get punished when you do that this quest home horrors Truth is that because of the way they changed uh, ransack, no, not ransack, uh, whatever the bonus is called that you get for uh, onslaught, no conquest. Sorry, the con conquest bonus. You no longer have to do that many kills. So, quest with a million monsters. As long as you get 100, you're done. So, yeah, but see how many monsters this is? There's like massive packs of monsters. Monsters spawn all at the same time. This serene spot looks like a good place to rest. One of the things I'm doing also is trying to check out the new Hireling, see how effective it is. It seems to be okay with healing, it's a bit squishy, and it's basically very good when it stays out of range, which is usually. And unlike most clerics who kind of like rush into it, it usually stays back. Here I've dragged too much aggro, so everything's cluttered up on top of it. Whatever. Those skeletons got stuck at the door. So this character is using just like default items. Maybe a few custom things, but basically it's all like the default starter stuff level 15 you get for uh, Asmar scores, so there's nothing special here. Weapons are things. One of them is a Barovia weapon, the other one I think I just took off the auction house.
You need to try this with like proper weapons. Most of the power of this build will come once you get adrenaline. Because in adrenaline, you just get the full crit range. Which is totally broken on a build like this. Yeah, let's rest. Yeah, if you're enjoying this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Might as well give everybody blur. For some reason... This hireling did not rest. Okay. Let's face the mummy. Really hope he doesn't like instant kill me or something like that. It's so stupid. A gaunt form can be seen at the far end of this large hall, resting against a massive throne. Disturbed by your trespass, the ancient mummy stirs to life. I don't remember what's up with this guy, why does he have such high damage reduction, but whatever. Probably because of my piercing weapons against him or something like that. Leron coughs out a quick command, and several undead rise up out of the ground. Oh, got cold again. As Leron dies, you notice a flash of light from the throne on the dais. Yeah, I think you're gonna suffer in this quest just because of the uh, clothes. At least the divine, the divine hirelings. Seeing that hireling just stood out of the way the whole time, which isn't really smart. You're not going to attack the guy standing right next to you. Best. Another shrine, just in case you haven't uh, subscribed yet. Gosh, so many skeletons. I guess you'd have to come in here with some kind of character who can just blast through everything to make it fun.
Here's a caster. First time I did this quest, I was doing it with the my buddy Yeshon from like a million years ago. He was playing a artificer, great crossbow build, uh, and it was what inspired me to try to do the machine bow build. So that was like, I took his feedback. He was using five rogue, fifteen artificer, great crossbow build, and then I based my build off of that. I made a 18 uh, rogue, two artificer for just a rune arm, and then the machine bow build ended up being a bunch of fighter, rogue, and artificer to get the endless fusillade, but with a great crossbow, and the tier five of uh, rogue it gives you a double uh, a double vorpal on your uh, great crossbow, which is crazy. I think down here is the optional dead end. It's either here or someplace later. Umbra the sound Holtz. of cracking rock and falling stone echo from this. Yeah, these things terrified me when they came out. They keep on stunning me. Yeah, this. Get stunned, die. That was it. That was the entire play cycle. I don't know if they've since been nerfed or if since learned how to play DDL, so one of the two. Passageways has like a unused creature DDO. It doesn't show up anyplace else. But it's like a 3D model that they put in someplace. Try to find it. Should be at the end of these one of these passageways. Yeah, it is the Underdark Tunnel. The cavern ahead has entirely collapsed, blocking any further exploration in this direction. Still not sure what the heck this thing is supposed to be. I hope you got to see it. Yeah, this is the Underdark uh, optional. It's an entire quest inside of a side it's like an entire quest placed as a side quest inside of this quest i don't know why they just didn't make its own quest get back to the start stay on the main road i think you're supposed to free all the prisoners i don't remember where they all are i don't want to miss them Yeah, it's way more fun hitting things who don't have like 100% fortification all the time. Anyway, at the speed that this quest is going, I don't think I'll be doing the optional. Not with this character. Probably, probably bring my uh, May uh, well, I'll bring Joken probably with the whole party and just rush through because I'm trying to get an armor. Wouldn't bother with this. Is there anything in this floor? Uh, nope. Hope I didn't miss something over there. I think there's a prisoner down this hallway. Yep. A lone shader guy stands quietly in the there also used to be a whole bunch of collectibles in this quest that you could not pick up. And the way they fixed them is by taking them out. 
<laughs> Instead of making them so you can pick them up. Like, nah, can't. I think what it was is there was... You're supposed to have like one or two collectibles and there's a whole bunch of potential places. And the bug was that they were showing up in all places. But only like one or two of them were activated every time. So you'd go through and it'll just drive you crazy. So really what happens is they fix that. So it only shows up like one or two places. Again, speculation, speculation. Somebody else can confirm it. Joy. Man, having some kind of a CC, the melee build is really cool. I mean, there are some melee builds, but it's just basically fighter. Dragonlord's super awesome. I have to stop for the next shrine. These guys are running through the spell points really fast. I'm running through my action points. My action boosts. You gotta make sure you've got your uh, uh, trance up for the DCs for your dragon world to work on these guys. I think this level is this quest is like level 15 and an elite at 17. So technically I'm around level, but this is a first level. This is a first uh, life character who's got uh, not much going for it. It was more like an experiment trying to see how things would work. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die at all, but... You get what I'm saying. Both of them died. There should be a shrine someplace. Like a whole way dropped out. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just go back. I don't feel like wasting time by dying and having to like reset the quest or some kind of nonsense. Skip the shrine before. Guardian rests also. Yes, there we go. Too bad shield is not a spell you can cast on others. It's a real shame. It'd be nice if you could cast it on friends, but whatever.
Need more cleave attacks. Right now we've only got whirlwind attack. Not really enough if we got a uh, two-handed fighter. Just things take too much time to kill. There's a side door over here. I don't know if you have to go in there. What do you do for a prisoner? I will find out. I usually take spring attack with builds that are melee because not only does it help you catching up to enemies who are trying to get away from you, it helps you get out of sticky situations when you get caught. Sandwich between weapons it allows you to like break out. It breaks out through the entire pack of monsters and it gives you some distance. how much XP I'm gonna get. Yeah, there is a prisoner in here, so you have to you have to free him. I don't know if you have to kill the orange name though. In the crumpled form of a dwarf lies amidst the rubble in this foul smelling warren. Excited kobolds surround the body, arguing amongst themselves. Looking at my dice right now, I want to see if there's any grazing hits. Seems like everything's a hit. Just that I only have a 10% chance right now for a crit. I need to get it up to 15%. But that'll be one level for now. I technically could have had it by now, but I took one extra level of uh, Dragon Lord that I didn't have to take. You need Deep Word Stalker, the plus one crit range. That's not from your tier five. It's from your four level 12. No chest. Scam. Here we go, more of these skeletons and nonsense wells. You're like, why do you need three quells? You know what happened? I think this quest is probably a uh, quest that has no scaling in it. Basically, you get the full amount of monsters as if you have a party, a party of four. But I believe there's scaling to all quests up to four players. So it scales one, two, three, or four players. I don't think there's more scaling for five and six players. So I guess what's happening here is that the scaling for this quest is broken and you only... It's like as if there's always four players. Which again, should be fixed. There's no reason why it should take you this long to do this quest. It's not like the loot in here is the most awesome thing ever. I 
I am curious about the XP. I think better give me a rank or something. Because working this much for like a lousy amount of XP is going to be very disappointing. I like the fact that they made the hole in the ground so you can see this guy before you get there. in Elven echoes up from a hole in the rock. Okay. Got this guy. Skip the shrine for now. Maybe we'll clear out the kobolds and then come back if we need to. This should be it. This is the kobolds. Scorching hot as you approach a passage filled with pools of lava. You gotta make sure I remember to take my screen capture before I get out of here. Certain things that become habits after, based on bad experiences, like me fighting this part of the hallway, is just because if I do die, I can make it back to the hole and jump in and hit the shrine. It's like. Once it happens to you once, you're like, yep. Shrine proximity uh, awareness. Something that you gotta be serious about if you're a solo player. Or you ain't gonna make it far. Yeah, I don't have any, like, night shield or shield, but whatever. Probably pick up a bow. This character is a ranger, but because I was moving this character from a different server, got rid of it, everything that wasn't absolutely necessary. And that includes uh, my ranged weapon. back about here let's go once we kill this boss and get rid of his clan let's go over shrine up and face off the boss I think it's this I think this boss gives you a bit of a dialogue, so hopefully I should be able to have some time to take a picture. Would be nice. YouTube has added a feature that allows you to uh, upload up to three uh, thumbnails and it will test them for you. See which one has the most clicks. So now I'm I make multiple thumbnails, so yeah, and it's important. By the way, I think it's one of the biggest downfalls of DDO YouTubers right now is the YouTube, uh, the thumbnail game is kind of lacking. A lot of thumbnails don't look like DDO. Or they maybe look like DDO, but they look uninspired. It's its, its own thing, but you can put a lot of effort in making a good video, but have a crummy thumbnail and nobody will watch it. You make a great thumbnail and everybody will click on it, but still won't watch your video because they're like, damn, this is garbage. So, the trick is to make a good video, but then also to make sure you got proper presentation. Kind of like making very good food, but, taste, but serving it lousily. And yeah, those things over here is you get a shrine that has mobs around it, which is 
kind of rare, honestly. Okay. I don't know if it's just this hireling, but sometimes it doesn't rest and you have to like tell it to rest again, which is very annoying. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I really hope I don't mess this up. It's kind of a long quest and messing it up now is not fun. I might want to park my hirelings. Exceptionally large cobalt blocks the passage. Not anymore. Do not bother, Master. Leave this last warning. Let's leave these guys here and take a picture. Glowing pools of searing lava dot this massive chamber. Yet the thing that draws your eye is the resting form of an ancient red dragon. A faint whimpering can be heard from the far end of the lair. It sounds human. The dragon's disgust is evident. Poor interlopers. Didn't the string of bodies hung along the entrance make it clear I don't want visitors? The dragon's anger grows. You show the slightest bit of respect for common sense. So typical of your kind. You will end this trouble still quickly. For your own sake. The dragon attacks with a roar. Oh, they've got something in there. Here. On Elite, 16,000. All things considered, it's not bad at all. I can damage it with my uh, Sunder, then I can damage it with the uh, fire damage, which is cool. The cries of angry kobolds fill the lair as the creatures rush to protect their master. Now I need him to die faster. Three thousand, three thousand. Come on. Hit the block and it didn't seem to help. Come on, 888. And there we go. Got him. I get rid of the trash and then I have to rescue the last prisoner before I can finish this quest. 
don't have to get rid of the trash, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. There's the guy. Successfully rescued okay, missing party. Pre prevent me from peacefully looting my chest, whatever. And uh, oh. I think one of my guild members dropped out to check. Come on, just let me get out of this list. Thank you. Oof. Yeah, so breakables, I got 10%. Conquest, I got, of course. 244 monsters, oh my gosh. 40 minutes, what a waste of time. Definitely not be this difficult. Yeah, but that's gonna be it. Anyways, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.